Good morning. This week we've been talking about the 29 strategies for boosting your company's profits without taking on additional debt, staff, or partners. We've went through one through 20. I'm gonna just briefly go over them again quickly. Number one, work your current or past customer list. Two, follow up. Three, use risk reversal. Four, bump and upsell. Five, sell and sell again. Six, utilize host parasite relationships. Seven, use your competitors' resources and profits. Eight, offer extended guarantees and incentives. Um, Nine, lock in sales in advance. Ten, if you know your company is go if a company is going out of business, buy its customers and fulfill its services. Eleven, get your customers to receive referrals. Twelve, get cash out of your business before going to the bank. Thirteen, recognize the most important marketing trends. Uh, 14, add a mail order division to your business. 15, work with ad agencies and only pay for results. 15, work with strat ad strategies strictly on pay for results basis. 16, use your inside and outside sales reps better. 17, add a performance-based sales department if you don't already have one. 18, finance your marketing effort with no cost or low cost alternatives. 19, let the marketplace let you know when to implement new um, programming and strategies and marketing with your business. 20, add new profit centers. 21, write ads that get a better response from your ad dollars and that you're already committed to spending. There are five basic concepts when writing a good advertisement. One, command attention. Two, show people the advantage of using your services. Three, prove what your advertise prove what your advertising works, the advantages that it has. Four, persuade people to grasp the advantage. And five, make sure there's a call to action. Number 22, use simple and legal tax angles to write off the cost of generating sales. When you know that you can afford to spend to acquire customers because of their residual value and you make a lot of profit at the end of the year, you can save taxes and profits by putting the marketing in before the end of the year to buy more customers and pay dividends for the next year. 23, stop spending so much on advertising and use your capital better. Cut down or eliminate costly advertising because so few business owners truly understand how to use advertising to stimulate a, a direct and immediate response. So don't be throwing money away at TV and radio and billboards. That's not where your ideal customer is at. Make money ethically from customers who are no longer be doing business from you. For example, you can sell, rent, join, joint venture with people, um, some of your old customers or prospects' names, um, and possibly get competitive products out there and services um, to help increase the sales from $10 to $250 each. So, for example, if you had a housekeeping client that's no longer using you, um, you could use them under the handyman department or vice versa. Um, this can grow your profit center relatively quickly. 25, turn every one shot sale into a perpetual sale. So instead of just having one handyman service, see if you can get them on the sometimes home plan where you have that residual income built into your business. Maybe you go out and do handyman services for a couple of hours um, every month for $99. So turn them into a residual income instead of just that one pop sale. 26, set up joint ventures with other companies that want access to your customers who will allow access to theirs, giving you 100% control while you get a big chunk of profits with the joint venture. BNI is a great way to do that. Business Networking International. 27. Integrate a, the concept of the moving parade. The fact that customers' desires and circumstances consistently change into your marketing. This is one thing that you can do and reinvent all the
the time with Sometime Spouse because we have so many different services. Handyman, household, painting, uh, carpentry, pet sitting, house sitting, organization. You can constantly change your marketing around. 28, make deals for your products or services to be used as an immensely attractive premium to get a, a way from the other businesses, generating money from other people's customer lists and ad budgets and producing tons of new customers for you. So one way to do this on your social media advertising is you can specifically go after other customers that use other services. And instead of it just being handyman or housekeeping, you can advertise that we're the one call you do it all. And number 29, license or sell, um, profitable techniques uh, that would benefit, benefit you adapting them to your business. We're doing that consistently at Sometimes Spouse. Within the year, we will be releasing um, products for the cleaning uh, side. Uh, so we'll have spouse scrub, we'll have an oven cleaner, we'll have a toilet cleaner, that sort of thing to go along with our cleaning services. And one day we plan to have a tool line for our handyman services. So these were just 29 ways for you to boost your, com your sometimes spouse's profits without taking on additional debts staff or partners. You guys can do this. You just have to take massive action. You guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.